We don't know, sir. Mrs. Danvers is very distressed about it. Mm -hmm. We'll find out who broke it and make them be more careful in the future. Yes, sir. Damn it. Why do they come to me with these things? That's your job. Darling, I, I meant to tell you, but I didn't. I broke the Cupid myself. I'm awfully sorry. It was terribly careless of me. <laughs> you did? Well, why didn't you say something about it when Fritz was here? I started to, but somehow I didn't get a chance. It doesn't matter. We'll have to explain to Mrs. Danvers as well, of course. Oh, no, no. Please, Max, then will you tell her and let me go upstairs? Nonsense. Anybody would think you were afraid of her. I'm not afraid, exactly. It's not that. I can't really explain. <laughs> you do such a funny thing. Like when we called on the bishop's wife, and all you did was to sit on the edge of your chair and just say yes and no, as if you were, as if you were a servant girl after a new job. Well, I can't help being shy. But I do hate people looking me up and down as though I were a pride cow. Oh, who looks you up and down? Everybody. Well, what does it matter if they do? It gives them some interest in life. But why should I be the one to supply all the interest and have all the criticism? Oh, because life at Mandalay is the only thing that interests anybody here. What a slap in the eye I must have been to them then. I suppose that's why you married me. Because you knew I was dull and quiet and inexperienced. And that there'd never be any gossip about me. What do you mean? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't mean anything. Oh, uh, why do you look like that? Who's been, who's been talking to you? No one, no one at all, Maxim. What's the matter? Well, why did you say what you did? I tell you, I don't know. Just because, well, because of something to say. I really didn't mean it. I wonder if I was very selfish in marrying you. What do you mean? I'm not much of a companion to you, am I? Oh, Maxim, darling. Why do you say these things to me? You know I love you more than anything in the world. You're my father, my brother, and my son. All these things. I'm difficult to live with. You don't get much fun, do you? Of course you're not difficult. You're easy, very easy. And it's absurd to say we aren't companions. Why, look how we sit down every evening. You with your paper or, or book, and me with my knitting. Like an old couple married for years and years. You talk as though you thought we'd made a mistake. You don't mean me to think that, do you, Maxie? Our marriage is a success, isn't it? A wonderful success. Uh, if you say so, then it's all right. No, but... But you think so too, don't you, Maxim? It's not just me. We are happy, aren't we? Terribly happy. If you don't think we're happy, it'd be much better if you told me. I don't want you to pretend anything. I'd rather go away and not live with you any longer. Why don't you answer me? How can I answer you? I don't know the answer myself. Oh, dear. This all started because I broke the China Cupid. Oh, damn the Cupid. Was it very valuable? Hmm? I, uh, yeah, I suppose so, dear. I've really forgotten. Are all the things in the morning room very valuable? Yes, I, uh, I think so. Were they always there when your mother was alive? No, as a matter of fact, I don't believe they were. When was the morning room furnished like it is now? When I was married. I suppose the Cupid was put there then. Yes. As a matter of fact, I believe it was a wedding present. Rebecca knew a lot about China. Oh, I see. That's why it's so precious. I wonder you didn't put it safely away with all her other China in that cottage on the beach. It reeks of damp in there, but I don't think anything's broken. Oh, perhaps you haven't been there lately. No, I've not been there lately. I never go near the bloody place, and if you had my memories, you wouldn't either. Or talk about it, or even think about it. You can adjust that if you like, and I hope it satisfies you. Oh, Maxim, Maxim, please forgive me. I'm sorry. I forget what I said. I'm terribly sorry. Maxim. 